Hello everybody. This video is the second installment of my series on how to make your own solar panels. Uh, first, I tried to make two different types of forms or templates uh, to keep the solar cells perfectly spaced. Both templates that I built were made out of common material that you might already have laying around the house. Uh, should be free to make them. Even if you don't have them laying around the house, they should only cost you a couple dollars to build. The one that I ended up liking uh, was made out of a cardboard pizza box top, which is this, which is what you saw in the first video. It's pretty good for soldering. I just didn't want to damage our, our table, just in case that an accident happened. And I also used, I think, five or six of these tongue compressors. That would be the only thing that you would probably have to purchase. Um, I think a whole bag is maybe $2, if that maybe a dollar, go to the dollar store and get one. And I will kind of guide you through this one, how I, I built it. This one I ended up liking a lot more than the the other one I built, and I will show you that one, but I don't really recommend using that one. Uh, so anyway, let me show you on this one. First I just took my pizza box top, which, uh, you know, or any cardboard, it doesn't have to be pizza box top. So I had that laying around the house, and I basically bent the, the edge, took two tongue depressors, obviously whole ones, and I took a hot glue gun, only because it's so quick, you don't have to use hot glue, you can use wood glue, but it might take a while to dry. So anyway, I just used my hot glue gun there, and just did two strips, and just placed those along the seam that way. I know I have a, a straight line, and then I basically placed the solar cell in there, and careful not to break it there, okay, so that one's in, and I just ran a bead of glue along the other end, and just placed it along there, and within, I don't know, a minute or two, they were already dry and set. And they're not they're not coming up. So then I, I took my knife and I very carefully cut along the edge uh, so I would have you know the, the edge there so I could park them across. And then also I have one slit that I made in the back. Took the panel out, or excuse me, the panel, the solar cell out. And since I already have slit in there, I just kind of work those in there. I definitely don't want to break any solar cells, and they're about $2. So I don't want to waste any money if I can get away with it. And um, so those were dry. And I took, I, I believe it was one or two, and I just cut the ends right off. Just gave myself a little tab. And then. Well, I'm just going to show you. So then I place that one in the middle, which would be your even space. And my other two. And make sure I don't break the cell. Alright, that figures. Okay, so that one's in. That one's in. And I just repeated that with this step. So now they're in there perfectly, and except I'm just showing you this, but obviously they're upside down, so I don't want to solder them that way. So I just flipped them over, bent that tab up, and laid that one in there. Okay, that one's good. Okay, just take that out. Flip that over. And place those in there. Okay, now it, it should stay nice and steady. And shouldn't go anywhere, nice and evenly spaced. And just go ahead and solder along. And then, but I, I did show you this in the first video. And just take your solder gun or excuse me, soldering iron, 
And I, I did learn a, a trick. You can either, as I showed you, put solder on the end of Obviously, this isn't plugged in. It's, it's off. You can either add solder to these, or I also learned if you have this laying down, you could go like that. If you apply heat to the back, these will actually stick to without solder. I did a, do a couple panels that had solder. I did a couple that did not have solder, and they, they both seem to stick fairly well. So I, I guess it's up to you and your preference. Just make sure they're they're on there steady and they're not going to come off. I uh, actually like to, to pull on them a little bit just to make sure they're, they're not going to come off because once you got your panel together, I mean you'd have to take the whole thing apart just for a, a simple connection. So, okay, that's the the first temple that I made, and like I said, it didn't cost me a penny to make. It only took me maybe four or five minutes to throw it together. And if you do happen to have a, a big piece of cardboard, I would just go ahead and, you know, put them in a, a series. That way you're not doing two, moving them, two, moving them. But, okay. Um, and I will show you the second template that I made. Yeah, but I probably wouldn't recommend it. I, I like this a lot better. So. Okay, let me grab the second one and show you there. Okay, this is the other template that I built, and uh, as you can see, it's a cork board or bulletin board, uh, whichever you prefer. And the reason why I thought it would be good, one, there is a, a nice squared edge so you can fit the solar cells in there nice and snug. And two, you can um, take your tongue depressor, I just put two push pins in there, and you can I just insert it and you get a nice tight fit and uh, that seemed to go well. And I also made these little spacers. Obviously another tongue depressor. Just cut it. And I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but I set the one uh, down a little lower so it'll set inside there. If I would have set it flush, it would just sit on top and it wouldn't have worked. So I just set that in there push that tight together and took my solder iron and some I, I used solder, some I, I didn't because I just want to try both ways but I uh, just soldered them on there either way and it did come out as a fairly decent space seemed to be fairly uniform and I just went along the way set them down there and I did have a 12 in a row that I, I soldered all together, uh, but the one reason why I don't recommend this is as I started to take this off the, the cork board, I noticed they were actually making a popping noise, and I noticed there were scorch marks along where I had soldered, and they were actually stuck to the cork board as I'm pulling them off, and uh, luckily I didn't break any. But it definitely made me nervous for a few minutes. So this one I do not recommend. The other one I, I had no problems with. Uh, so I would recommend that one, and it shouldn't cost you hardly anything to make if it does cost you anything to make. Uh, in the next video I'll be making, I, I do have a, a decision to make. Uh, because I need 36 panels, I have two options. I can either do three columns of 12, which equals 36, which you know, would equal your 18 volts, or I can do two rows of 18. Uh, the thing I have to decide is, do I want a wider solar panel or a longer, thinner solar panel? Because the main reason why I'm making these is to replace the ones I have in my solar stand now, which are 15 watts, and these will be, what, like 62 watts. So I'm getting, you know, just way more power and hopefully out of the same space so I don't have to redesign my solar stand because I did spend a lot of time on it. So in the next video, uh, I'll go through all that and you'll get to see what I decided and I'll show you my solar stand and how they're going to fit. So, okay, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I appreciate all the positive feedback from the first one. And uh, thank you very much. Take care. God bless.